Hey guys, what's up? It's Brad. Welcome back to the shop. Got a short little video here for you. I have a little repair job to do, and I wanted to take a little bit of video and show you guys what I was doing. Over here, I'll, sh uh, I'll show you in a second. Let me uh, in here. I have a, an old style Marantz receiver, and what had happened was, is the volume pot, go handheld here, the volume pot sits right here, and it, it snapped off. And uh, um, this was my dad's, and my brother actually had this. But when he was moving, he, I don't know what he did, but he, he messed it up and he broke the thing off. So what I had done was I milled down the broken shaft. I drilled it out to an eighth of an inch. I turned this little piece here. And this is a 732nd, and it has a little tiny tenon in there, which is an eighth of an inch. I inserted it in there, and I used JB Weld to extend the shaft. And as you can see, we have functionality restored. What I did was is I, I chucked this up in the collet, in the lathe, and, and did all my drilling and all that sort of thing. Uh, I believe it was a 13 16 that fit this perfectly, so I kind of lucked out. So now what I'm doing is I'm turning another knob. Um, I don't know where the other one is, the old one, but it's gone. So I have some footage of me um, uh, facing this. And I just drilled this out with a 732nd drill. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cut it off and then drill and tap for a set screw. I love using collets. Makes everything just so easy to chuck this up. We're going to throw this in back gear to part it off. The set screw we're going to use is going to be a little tiny quarter twenty grub screw. <clears throat> now I got to go down a half an inch on this. This is a big A bomb sized countersink.
All right, let's get her ready for tapping. Yeah, I used the countersink as the tap guide. Sue me. Not too bad for a quick little one-off temporary knob. This is actually a temp. Um, I'm going to make a better, nicer one out of aluminum because I have no aluminum. Actually had a nice slug of aluminum, right? Almost the same size, but look. <laughs> well, here you have it. The new knob. Done basement shop style. Now I just got to get in here with some uh, electrical lube. Make sure those contacts are nice and hope it all works. All right, so here is the completed knob. It's steel and it isn't aluminum. So like I said, I, I think this is going to be a, uh, a temporary one. I'll make one out of aluminum. Um, put a little witness, witness mark there to help line up the flat. Drilled, tapped. Let's go over to the stereo. So here's the receiver that we fixed. It's a Marantz 2265B. I think my father bought this in 1978. Um, yeah, I think it was 78 because he had bought this, uh, set it up, and then I think it was the next day we went to the supermarket and we bought Pink Floyd The Wall on vinyl. So let me, uh, let me set this up over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'm just putting the knob on. I should have brought my other Allen keys. All right. Does it stick out like a sore thumb? Not really, but it's smooth and it's nice and it'll do the job. Let's uh let's give it a sound test. Here's a Morant's turntable. <clears throat> 